Um, there were much more talented cricketers than me. When I was growing up, uh, in my school, which I went to, was a very a school for privileged children in the society. And in that, I excelled in my school. But when I actually got out of the school to play cricket for uh, where the other, where, for instance, for my city, I discovered that the children coming from the poorer backgrounds had much greater hunger and drive than the people, the boys who were studying with me in this privileged school. And so I discovered that the, all the, in my school we had the best coaching and the best teachers and the best cricketing facilities and the grounds and the wickets. We could not compete with these boys coming from the streets because their hunger and drive was much more. So not only did I discover that these boys were much hungrier than me for success, but they were far more talented. But the reason I succeeded was because I had bigger dreams than them. I thought bigger than them. I wasn't satisfied. Um, when I was 18, I played for my country. It wasn't very good. I was dropped off to my first test match. Uh, everyone thought that was the end of my career. But the reason I came back was because the first time I got dropped, I tried to analyze my weaknesses. I looked, first time I played in England and I saw these other great cricketers. And I realized that the bowling action God had, you know, my natural bowling action, which was I endowed with, with, was restricting me from reaching my ambition, which was at that time to become the best fast bowler. So from then onwards, rather than be limited by my, my natural bowling action, I decided to change it to, re to reach my ambition. Now, this is, you know, very important for you to understand this. For some of the people here, it's important to know your limitations. People who don't know your limitations do not actually, are not successful. But it is also important never to be restricted by your limitations. Never accept them. Always try to expand those limitations. So what I did was that my limitation in my bowling action did not restrict me because I decided that my ambition, if I stuck with this bowling action, I would not be able to reach my ambition. So I changed my bowling action. And I'm the only fast bowler who completely changed his bowling action from the time he started to the time I finished. I completely remodeled it. And this is against all the coaches, all the experts. People told me, listen, don't do that. You lose your natural ability. And all the time I came up against this thing that, look, you cannot do this. You will, you will fail. Just play to your limitations and so on. So you will also, people sitting here who are aspiring for big things, remember this, that all your life you will be told that this cannot be done. Do not accept this. Because this is where, when you compromise on your mission, or your ambition. That's where the downward slide starts. If, if anything, always upgrade your ambition, but never downgrade it. Never accept anything less than what you aim for. So if I aim to become the, fast bowl, the best fast bowler in Pakistan, and, um, and if I had accepted what the coaches told me that your bowling action would not allow me, uh, me to get there, and accepted something less, then I know that it would be, have been the end of, I would have just become one of the ordinary cricketers. But I did not accept it. But then I upgraded my mission. When I became the best in Pakistan team, then I wanted to be the best in the world. You know, when I became the, when, what I thought I'd reached the best fast bowler in the world, then I wanted to be the best all-rounder in the world. And then, I won, then once I became the captain, by the way, everyone told me don't accept captaincy because uh, fast bowlers do not become good captains. 
They all gave me the example of Ian Botham who had failed as a captain. They said, listen, he's failed. You will also fail as a captain. So you will always come up against this. But then it became, when I became the captain, I wanted to make Pakistan team the number one team in the world. So ambition must be upgraded all the time. Never bring it down. Never downgrade it. Because the moment you downgrade it, as I said, it's a downward spiral. You keep going down. And when you keep struggling to go up, this is where your inner strength comes in. We, what I mentioned before, we all have great potential. But it's only when you pit yourself against challenges that you begin discovering this potential in you. It's like, um, you know, it's like uh, if you do weight training, your arm gets strong. Uh, you know, if you just don't do anything with it, it'll just shrivel up. The, but the mind is the, is, 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 the more you pit your mind to pressure, challenges, the stronger it becomes. It's a, there's a great verse by one of our greatest poets which says something like, Oh hawk, don't be scared of these gusts of wind that hit you. They are meant to make you fly higher. So don't be scared of these, uh, you know, when you, obviously the bigger challenges you have, the more resistance you'll have. But never be scared of that. Because when you pit yourself against resistance, you get stronger. So my, my action, my body wasn't equipped to be that of a fast bowler. But the more I tried and the more I, more I struggled towards it, my body got stronger. And similarly, much more, of course, is the case with the mind. Um, then when, when I became the captain, uh, I had these ambitions that I wanted Pakistan to be the best team. Now that ambition must take precedence over everything else. Uh, you should be able to, if you cannot for any reason, any impediment in that way of your ambition, you must be able to, whatever it takes, you should be able to sacrifice for that. And so I'm the only captain, and that's the reason I was successful. I'm the only captain who twice resigned because the selectors did not give me the team I wanted to, to win. So my ambition was to be the best, uh, make Pakistan the best team. When I realized that I wasn't getting the best team for me to achieve that ambition, I was willing to resign rather than stay the captain. So this is also very important that you must, you know, do not let anything get in the way of your ambition. Compromise for your vision.